Let us ask this question. Did Padre Pio enjoy being the center of publicity? Did he enjoy, for instance, having his photographs taken? Now, we'd like to spread the message of Padre Pio far and wide, and so we ask you to click the subscribe button below and also to hit the like which is the thumbs up and then to if you click the bell as well you'll receive notifications of all future videos. An interesting fact is a lot of photos taken of Padre Pio came up blank which is very strange. Um, I should just give you a for instance. This certain fellow John McCaffrey and he recounts he was selected to celebrate the outdoor mass with Padre Pio, serving at the mass. And so him and a friend, Gino, organized a professional photographer to come and photograph the event. And Padre Pio, he was not very amenable to having his photographs taken. So he, when he saw the photographer, he went and spoke to him and he said, well, you're only allowed to take one or two photographs. So the photographer agreed. A little later, the photographer decided, well, one or two might mean one or two spools of film. And, of course, he went ahead and photographed two spools, spools of film. Later on, after the Mass, John and Gino come along to look at the photos. And to their surprise, all the photos on both spools had come up totally blank. There was no image of Padre Pio on them. And John related this to a fellow called to, um, Dr. Sanguinetti, and this doctor was a good friend of Padre Pio, and he helped him found the hospital, and Dr. Sanguinetti said, yes, the same thing had happened to him previously. So it was a common occurrence. And then a little later on, we come across a lady, Mary Powell, who was a third order Franciscan lady from America, and she'd given up her inheritance to join the Franciscans as a third order to be near Padre Pio. And she recounted that for years, photographers have been frustrated trying to take photographs of Padre Pio. They would always come up blank. Or else <clears throat> the camera would jam, or the, and the shutter refused to move. And then the pilgrims got a little bit smart and they went to and spoke to Padre Pio's superiors. And his superiors gave him the order that he was to abandon his feud with the photographers. And so all photographs practically that we see of Padre Pio have been taken after this period. There are very few from before. There are some weren't from when he was young. But otherwise there's a whole period missing of photographs of Padre Pio. Now another instance is Mario de Renes. He was from the newspaper Il Tempo, a newspaper in Rome, and he was given the assignment to photograph Padre Pio um, for the newspaper. So he went down to San Giovanni Rotondo and he photographed the town roundabout and those photos came up perfectly. Then he went to the church and the ushers saw a photographer and they said, no, no, you're not allowed to enter with your camera. Anyway, fortunately for him, a bus arrived thereabouts, and he joined in the bus of tourists and entered the church that way, and started photographing Padre Pio kind of, you know, on the side. The ushers realized after a little while, and there was a clamor to um, prevent him from phot photographing, and he found an exit to the church, and he went out of that exit immediately and found that he was in the garden of the convent. So in the garden of the convent, then he didn't know what to do, so he noticed a staircase. He went up the staircase, and which led to an open door. He went through the door and down the passage, at which point he came to the cell of Padre Pio. Now, we must remember, he had just been photographing Padre Pio in the church below, and now he was in the cell of Padre Pio. And to his surprise, there was Padre Pio. Um, he, he kind of wondered, well, how could he got up here so quickly for a healthy person, according to this book? They would need at least 15 minutes to get up there to the cell from the church. Perhaps it was even just five minutes. But Padre Pio, he had painful wounds on his feet. So he shuffled along rather slowly. 
and yet he was there before the photographer. And they shook hands, and thereafter, Mario proceeded to photograph Padre Pio in his cell. Anyway, later on, at the offices of the newspaper, he developed all the film, and he discovered, guess what, the films in the church, Padre Pio was on those films. The ones in the cell, there was no sign of Padre Pio. The, the cell was there on the photo, but Padre Pio was not there. So what happened? It's a bit of a mystery. The one theory, of course, is that Padre Pio was actually celebrating Mass downstairs still, and that this was kind of his soul by locating, and he had photographed the soul, which was invisible to the camera. But still, it's very interesting. Padre Pio didn't like to be photographed. Now, we'd like to spread the message of Padre Pio far and wide, and so we ask you to click the subscribe button below, and also to hit the like, which is the thumbs up. And then to, if you click the bell as well, you'll receive notifications of all future videos.